Yeah, we're also watching communities that are out ahead of this line in the path of today's severe weather. Meteorologist Mike Seidel is in Flowood, Mississippi. This is just around the Jackson area. And Mike, this is an area where we anticipate storms just in time for the late day drive. Uh, yes, indeed. We're going to be watching the western sky. That's out this way. The winds are coming in from the south. We're already gusting over 40, 44 miles an hour. That's the gradient wind, and that's why the Weather Service here in Jackson issued the high wind warning. Get a sense of how the wind is whipping the pine trees back here. Granted, those are softwoods, but a lot of wind even before we get the storms. And I think the big difference this week uh, versus last week is we're going to have a lot more folks losing power because the wider impacts from the straight line winds that have already been recorded nearly 60 miles an hour. We're under the tornado watch here in this part of Mississippi until 8 o'clock tonight. You can see on the radar the storm's rapidly approaching and we're going to be about another 90 minutes before it uh, just breaks loose and that line comes in here. Again, be prepared to take shelter and over in nearby Rankin County, we're in Rankin County but not far away in Brandon, we were there earlier today and they are ready with their storm shelter. They can shelter a lot of folks. We talked to the sheriff about two hours ago. As soon as they issue a tornado watch, it's open immediately uh, in the staff, and I'll uh, add additional uh, personnel if, if the population here grows. Uh, like I said last week we had about 300 people here, so of course we'll add a few more people, employees down here to, uh, to take care of everybody. We could probably fit 500. Now, if it got really bad, I think we could take the tables and chairs up and stand room up. You could probably fit a few more in here, but uh, I think we could definitely uh, comfortably fit 500. Now the shelter is now open because we're under a tornado watch. It's been open for 11 years, so they've uh, been used uh, to uh, using this. Everybody knows where it is. And uh, Dr. Now, the other key thing is know your county. We can't overemphasize this because these storms are moving very quickly. Just know what county you're in, and when you get the warning, head for your safe place. Dr. Yeah, Nab. Mike, excellent point. And in fact, I'll show you here in just a moment. I want to get out to the field. Our meteorologist Mike Seidel is in Flowood, Mississippi, a community bracing for that line of strong storms to move through within the next few hours. It's already really windy out there. It is. This is a gradient wind we've been dealing with. Actually, we got in yesterday evening. The winds are already gusting over 30 miles an hour, now gusting upwards of 45 miles an hour. Uh, that is due west. The storms now are about 75 miles due west of where we're standing. But keep in mind, they're coming in from the uh, southwest. So it's, it's going to take a little bit longer. But you can see how the skies are getting a little bit darker and how fast those low-level stratus clouds are uh, moving. Our dew point's in the mid-60s. We hit 80 earlier. We haven't had a whole lot of heating, but it doesn't really matter because we have so much wind shear, so much energy uh, in the lower middle levels to cause the spin-ups and also the straight-line winds. Some of these uh, cells are moving. I saw one of these storms, Dr. Nab was just pointing out, it's being clocked at moving north, northeast at 84 miles an hour, 73 knots, 84 miles an hour. It's hard to out run that so the best advice is have your safe place ready like if you're in Vicksburg right now go to your safe place even ahead of a warning because these warnings are going to come out fast from the weather service here in Jackson and you won't have as much lead time because of how fast these cells are moving. We're under a tornado watch here until 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, we're expecting uh, the line to hit the Metro Jackson area in about an hour and, or so. And then after that, it'll quickly move through and the rain will be out of here by about 7. So we may actually see the sunset here in Jackson. But again, the big concern, in addition to those spin up tornadoes, straight line wind damage, knocking out a lot of power. Already nearly 100,000 customers have lost power from this system. We'll keep you updated come back with the latest on the warnings from the Weather Channel studios in Atlanta next. So stay with us. Meteorologist Mike Seidel is in Flowood, Mississippi, just to the east of Jackson. You're awaiting the storms, already feeling that wind increase. What have you seen in the community? Do you know anything about schools letting out early or, or people seeming to head home before the storms? Yeah, schools let out early. Most of those let out before lunchtime. That was a good move to get everybody home. We saw what happened last week in Jacksboro. Uh, parents were picking up kids as the uh, tornado warned storm came in and they ran for shelter and their cars got flipped. We were following a couple showers that are rapidly moved up I-55. We can't even see them now. They're moving over 70 miles an hour. You can see those on the radar. They are not worn for anything at this point. Uh, just uh, moving very fast with a, a shower or two. We're getting a light rain shower right now where we're standing here in Flowood. That 
then look off to our west. We've got a severe thunderstorm warning for a dangerous line of storms heading towards Jackson. In fact, this warning goes till 4 p.m., as well as the tornado warning to the north. Uh, these are moving at about 55 miles an hour, so all the way into Hines County. That's the home county of Jackson, but not into the city of Jackson. We've got that severe thunderstorm warning again until 5. That's another 55 minutes. So these are going to come right at us. They're warned for severe weather, but again, any of these severe thunderstorm warnings could produce a quick tornado spin up. So treat these warnings as if they were tornado warnings. So again, about another 45 minutes or so, and these storms are gonna be knocking on the western suburbs of uh, Jackson as this line comes on through, could produce wind gusts over 70 miles an hour. Already now about 18,000 customers without power uh, here in Mississippi, and the storms are just getting into the state. And like I said earlier, I think many more people will be impacted this week versus last week by power outages, Dr. Now, because this is gonna be a long-term uh, wind event in addition to these tornadoes spinning up. But so far, uh, we've been pretty fortunate. I th you can correct me if I'm wrong. We've only had, I believe, one, maybe two confirmed tornadoes. They don't tend to be long-lived in this situation. But again, take cover, react, know your county, and uh, take, uh, to take a quick action to your safe place here in the Jackson area in the next 45 minutes. This line is on the way in. Together all day, and we'll continue to do so with time. This heads towards Grinder at 402. Butler at 406 and then eventually could be more moving towards Ashport uh, with time if all of that holds together. Now I want to take you down uh, towards the southern tier of all this because while we've got severe thunderstorm warnings in effect, we are getting some of these tornado possible tags with that, um, meaning that there's broad rotation within that area that could eventually tighten up and cause a tornado. It's not at that level yet that we're triggering tornado warnings, but it can happen in very short order. order. So again, treat your severe thunderstorm warnings today. If you live here across parts of Mississippi into the I-55 corridor, um, treat them as tornado warnings and get to your safe place. So this is for Adams, Franklin, and Jefferson counties, uh, including you into the Fayette area, as well as Roxy. Possible tornado with that one until 4.15 local time. And now look at that. Here we go. Uh, Jackson itself is now under the severe thunderstorm warning for this line of storms that's capable of producing 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Again, this is moving really fast. Dalton, let's put a timer on this one for folks in Jackson because this uh, is capable of producing damaging winds. And I know we've had a lot of windy conditions today, uh, just synoptic winds, your regular old winds that have been gusty and causing some power outages and tree damage to today. So this is coming in on top of that. So Jackson, that's going to be moving through around 437. So Jackson, now's the time. Get to your safe place. This is going to move through very, very quickly today. So keep that in mind. Once that line passes you, you're pretty much done. But it is moving into an environment where we have a lot of instability available. So there's no signs of this thing slowing down. We'll see what happens with time later on tonight in places like Birmingham and Atlanta happening in the overnight hours. So that may work out in your favor a little bit. But you need to be prepared to be alerted for severe weather while you're sleeping sleeping tonight. Here's a look at the watches. I know it covers a lot of real estate from just north of the Ohio River here in southwestern Indiana, including you in Evansville, all the way down to the Gulf Coast, including you in New Orleans. Here we have the time for each and every one of those watches. They all expire kind of progressively uh, with time, but this is going to be lasting through the evening. And just real quickly before we toss it over to Tevin, I want to show you all the storm reports that we've had so far today. There have been dozens and dozens of them. Some of these are due to the strong winds well ahead out of that line, some from the line of storms as well. So folks need to be prepared to be without power. We've got tens of thousands without power across parts of the South already today. Tevin, it has been a busy day, and it's going to be a busy night ahead. Most certainly it will, Jackie. High winds and a threat for tornadoes have people in Mississippi bracing for danger. This latest round of storms comes one week after a strong or a string rather of tornadoes damaged buildings and snapped trees and power lines all across the state. It's meteorologist Mike. They said it was an idea that would never work. Welcome to the Weather Channel. But four decades and many, many life-saving forecasts later. If you have a shelter, get in it right now. We're bigger, better, and more trusted than ever. Woo, there we go, see? Now join us every day as we celebrate the Weather Channel's 40th anniversary. Oh my goodness! 
and look ahead at a future of forecasting and climate coverage that will keep you trusting in us for another 40 years. Uh, breaking right now, tracking some active tornado warnings here on the Weather Channel. We're looking in close here into Mississippi, and uh, what we see are severe thunderstorm warnings and a couple of tornado warnings now just to the east of Yazoo City on the way toward Pickens. When you look here at the pattern that the raindrops make along this line, it's things like this, a notch like that, which gets our atten for attention for possible rotation. So those are some of the features that we look at. Also, when you look a little bit closer, we see that there has been some rotation within that. And farther to the south, near the Byram area, where we've seen some rotation being reported by storm spotters within that cell as well. But this is really beginning to take over right now. And the most obvious signature that we're looking at, right where that red and that green come together, this is just on the east side of Jackson. And you can see how that's kind of surging out ahead ahead of that main line. So a lot of times in this type of a dynamic and shared environment, we'll get pushes of wind that lead out ahead of the main line, which can then lead to very quick spin-ups. So tornadoes can happen in very short order uh, with little warning. So we've been seeing this couplet or this area where the red and the green are coming together very closely and tightly uh, for a while, about uh, more than 10 minutes as it's pulling away from the city of Jackson. So we still have the warning, however, uh, in effect. And something else to keep in mind, you know, you might be saying to yourself, oh, well, the rotation is way up there. I don't need to be worried. Well, we've got yellow boxes surrounding it for a reason because this entire line is capable of producing winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. In fact, the large majority of the damage that we've seen today in Arkansas and Mississippi into uh, Louisiana has been because of damaging winds. So that is something that we're going to continue to track and treat the severe thunderstorm warnings today as tornado warnings because we've got a lot of little notches, a lot of little areas where spin-ups can happen very quickly. And those tornado warnings may happen today with a little bit less warning than normal. Now, I want to take you up towards uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis proper, you're not under the tornado warning but you are under a severe thunderstorm warning because of these strong winds. And it does look like some of the strongest winds are right on top of you and just east of you right now. But we're also seeing a tornado warning that includes uh, people in Olive Branch and up towards Collierville. And uh, I'm not seeing a real tight couplet or a real obvious area of rotation. So we'll take it where the strongest winds are and time it out for you there. This would be moving through Germantown at 5.05, working towards Collierville at 514, Piperton at 519, and then Rossville at 525. So this is tracking to the south of Interstate 40 right now. This is a fast moving line of storms. Once it moves through, you're looking at much better conditions, but just know that that whole line could be causing some damage. Now, south of there, we want to take you back into Mississippi, where we have a tornado warning for DeSoto, uh, Marshall, as well as Tate counties. Uh, that includes you east of uh, Interstate 55 near Holly Springs. And within that line, not only could we see some of the damaging winds, but also perhaps a little bit of rotation embedded in that along that leading edge of that line. And we'll take you farther south. This is into uh, the Winona area. Area, down towards French Camp. This is Carroll, Montgomery, and Webster counties under tornado warning no longer under the tornado warning. So we'll start you out here in Leake, Madison, and Scott counties. This is in Mississippi, which is north and east outside of the Jackson area. This includes you in Carthage as well as Walnut Grove until 6 o'clock local time. Um, Doppler radar is indicating some rotation along with that cell. Now farther to the north, we'll take you into Choctaw, Octibita, as well as into Webster counties, where we've got the tornado warning in effect until 6.15. If you live in Newport, you need to be getting to your safe place immediately. The rotation is back here embedded within that line. But we've got to keep an eye out. Look at these cells out ahead of it. Any storms that develop out ahead of that main line 
could take on supercell characteristics and rotate pretty quickly. We are seeing some of those suspicious looking um, returns just south of Columbus, Mississippi. So that's something to keep an eye on. And I just want to give you a heads up in Starkville. I know we've got Mississippi State University there and a populated area. That line is going to be moving through. And if that tornado uh, rotation holds together, that would be moving through Starkville maybe within the next 30 minutes or so. Now, north of there, we'll take you into Calhoun, into Lafayette uh, counties, where we've got a tornado warning in effect here for Bruce and Thaxton included in that warning. This is Highway 278. We're seeing a pretty bright return on radar, too. I wouldn't be shocked if you got a little bit of small hail associated with this, too. So this is going to be moving through Thaxton and heading through Bruce and working its way towards Tupelo, Mississippi, eventually, as that whole line begins to hold together. Now, good news for you in Memphis. Uh, your severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire. That's all been advanced off Mississippi for Jasper and Smith counties, including Montrose and Raleigh. This uh, whole line may be producing some damaging winds, but embedded within that line, uh, we could get some uh, tornadoes. So it looks like we've got a little area right there to the west of Montrose, where we've got the red and the green coming together, a little bit of surging taking place. There might actually also be another little area down there west of Bay Springs. So we're just going to time out the whole thing because it does look like there are a couple of areas where there may be rotation in there. Plus, the winds are damaging and can cause damage. Um, so you don't want to, uh, you know, stay outside or stay on the upper levels of your home. You still want to get to the lower level. Taylorsville, 707, Bay Springs at 712. This would be moving through Stringer at 719, Waldrop at 728, and 743 for Stonewall. So this is a Doppler radar indicated possible tornado here for Jasper and Smith counties uh, in the state of uh, Mississippi. So let's go ahead and take you a little farther up to the north of there. And you can see the storms have now passed to the east of Tupelo, and Columbus, Mississippi is under a severe thunderstorm storm warning for that line. And as we put this in a motion for you and we loop this and show you the last couple of hours, it doesn't take much of an imagination to see the turning motion that we have within this line. It's all kinds of little cells that are rotating. So we have a very highly shared environment. It's not going to take much for those storms to tap into that energy aloft see rotation and get tornadoes to spin up very rapidly. Now, the other question that we've had about our severe weather unfolding tonight has been, are we going to get individual storms out ahead of that main line that could go severe? As you can see in the parts of Alabama right now, they're trying to do that, but it didn't happen early enough today that I think we're doing a little bit better on that main line. We'll keep an eye on it for you, but I think it's going to be the bigger story uh, with the winds coming in on the backside of all of this. Also, a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for you in Evansville, Indiana, Henderson, Kentucky, across uh, the state line and over the Ohio River there. Those winds uh, possibly 60 miles per hour plus. So this is moving into an environment where we still have some instability, but notice that the greatest amount of that instability now is going to be more focused towards the Gulf Coast. This line may still be be severe, but fingers crossed with time, we could see that trend of that weakening a little bit, and that would be some better news. But certainly don't let your guard down just yet. Tevin? We can't let our guard down just yet. Jackie, great information there. We want to turn now to a storm that rolled through Jackson, Mississippi earlier today, put down some strong winds and brought down some trees as well. For the latest on that, let's go live to meteorologist Mike Seidel, who's joining us just outside of Battlefield Park. Mike, good evening to you. Hey, Tevin, good evening to you. The sun going down, the blue sky to the west is expected. The storms have moved away from Jackson. We had a tornado warning for Rankin and parts of Hines County. We're not sure if this is a tornado, but certainly...